Hi, I'm Rebecca Keller. I'm a senior science and technology analyst here at Stratfor. China is currently facing a severe outbreak of African swine fever that has decimated their pork crop. As the largest global consumer and producer of pork, this disease and this outbreak is affecting the global pork industry. This not only means rise in pork prices for other producers, but it also affects ongoing trade negotiations. We're seeing agriculture take a, a pretty high profile role in the ongoing U.S.-China trade negotiations. The U.S. agriculture sector itself has been hit pretty hard um, by reciprocal tariffs that China has placed on the U.S. in response to U.S. trade strategy. Um, we've seen a significant reduction in soy exports, for instance, to China that has forced farmers to store supply, which then has tragically been lost to the Midwest uh, flooding this, this past or during the spring. Um, so while the African swine fever may end up being a net benefit for U.S. pork producers, as China, despite high reciprocal tariffs, will be forced to import more U.S. pork, it's looking like it's not going to be a good thing for U.S. soy producers as there will be a reduction in uh, feed demand from Chinese pork producers. So that's going to hit soy, that's going to hit corn um, and, and other feed grains, um, which are already suffering because of trade battles and doesn't look to let up anytime soon.